Blockchain. This is a word that has found its way into the modern lexicon, mainly due to the widespread adoption and also use of cryptocurrency worldwide. Now, what most people gloss over when it comes to the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency is the level of security that the technology can actually provide. Now, one of the best things about blockchain technology is that without a central authority in control of the records of a system, it presents a great opportunity to many in industry, including one of the biggest in the world, which is the gambling industry. Right now, we're gonna have a good look at an exciting platform called BetMatch. So we're going to do a deep dive into BetMatch and discuss what it is, how it functions, and what its future may actually look like. But first, let's speak a little bit about gambling generally and what it is that BetMatch has set out to accomplish. Now, as of 2015, the estimates for gambling placed the value of the industry at about three trillion U.S. dollars worldwide, with the majority of that being created by illegal betting. Now, with the huge surge in the use of smartphones, the gaming market has been steadily moving towards online channels. Now, by the end of 2016, mobile revenue revenues just in the UK alone were approaching 80% for the largest sports gaming operators. Then of course there's the growth in the blockchain space. Now, at the beginning of October of 2018, Ethereum had more than 43 million unique wallet addresses, which is five times more the beginning of October 2017. Even though a number of these users may have several addresses, in addition many of the addresses are used to make deposits on cryptocurrency exchanges, it is obvious that the digital economy is on its way to maturity and that moving towards acceptance by a mass market. Now, with the $3 trillion marketplace, exponential growth in the world of smartphones, and the widespread adoption of cryptocurrency, it seems like a perfect storm may be brewing for the world of gaming. With all that in view, let's talk a bit about the main issues that are facing the betting industry. Number one, depositing and withdrawing funds. With the current regulatory environment, both in the gambling industry and in the crypto industry, there are significant hurdles created by financial institutions. Number two, trusting the house. All bookmakers like to complicate big gains on a formal basis. Given this delay in payments, as well as the fact of registration of bookmakers in offshore jurisdictions, the player is actually at the mercy of the bookmaker's services. Number three, social betting. Social betting and social networking within the betting industry is a very interesting and also desirable option for a majority of customers. Players like to study predictions and sports statistics that are provided by quote-unquote experts or even by more experienced players. Number four, high commissions. Now, players must pay gambling houses and institutions high fees to place bets. These fees can range from 5 to 15 percent. Furthermore, withdrawing money from platforms can also be an expensive proposition. So all four of these issues are what players face. But what about the house? Number one for the house, financial infrastructure. The complexity and costs associated with servicing the financial needs of players are only rising. Betting companies must accept payments and send winnings to players in multiple jurisdictions, each with their own set of rules. And the other major problem for the house are the marketing costs. Now the cost of marketing and user acquisition for traditional players and gambling houses is quite substantial, at least for the time being. The crypto community is quite niche, so there is a great opportunity to find and acquire new customers without huge marketing budgets. Cool. So now we have an idea of where we're at insofar as mobile technology, the huge increase in blockchain, and the open marketplace in the world of betting. We also now know most of the big issues facing the people who want to play and those who would want to run these businesses. Let's circle back to BetMatch and see what they say they wish to do. BetMatch is a blockchain solution for bookmakers that combines the classical business model executed in a trustworthy paradigm using blockchain technology, the integrated social structure for the effective development of the community. Community. The proposed technical and business solutions of BetMatch provides customers with a service of betting on events in a trustless mode to the bookmaker. Deposits, bets, execution, and withdrawal of funds are made in a decentralized environment. Payments in cryptocurrencies and the execution of smart contracts. Designed in such a way that they cannot be influenced by the actions of the betting service or third parties. In addition, BetMatch offers an original social solution for players and the betting community. This concept allows each client or supports one who supports this project to build their own personal businesses with the formation of cash flows and receive awards for social activities and interaction with other players within the system. So this is coming from the BetMatch white paper and this is what they say about their own platform or what they hope to achieve. 
So how are they gonna go about this? Well, first up, BetMatch has a lot of choices. You can bet on soccer, tennis, basketball, esports, UFC, just to name a few. This is fabulous as whatever you're into, you can find it on their platform and place a bet on said sport or activity. Next up comes the choice of those who are actually placing the bets. Option one, the game can be completely decentralized. There are no sources of external influence and it is controlled exclusively according to the rules of the smart contract, which means that the human factor and the influence of third parties on the processing of the bets, the display of the results and the payments to the client are now eliminated. Now not the bookmaker controls you, but you control the bookmaker. Or after depositing, the funds are transferred to the smart contract, which automatically transfers them for betting on the player's balance. Payments are guaranteed by a dedicated liquidity pool, which status is always available for review at any time. So what is this liquidity pool? Well, in contrast to traditional betting houses deposit storage of customer funds, bet execution and payouts are processed via a decentralized network as the project is transparent and dedicated to the community. The liquidity pool, which is the entire system's non-user funds is stored in a decentralized mode visible for any external person. Gotta love that transparency. Next up, it's how you actually transact on the platform. Now, BetMatch bets are made only in cryptocurrencies, but you can easily buy cryptocurrency directly on the site using usual payment methods such as Visa, MasterCard, QIWI, Yandex.Money, and normal money. Now, keeping more money in your pocket, making bets in cryptocurrencies, you no longer need to deduct a massive commission for depositing or withdrawing funds to payments and pay taxes on each win, which is great for all the players involved. Another key issue, especially when dealing with technology, is support. And with BetMatch, the site has around-the-clock technical support in Russian and English, which will always answer any of your questions to help you solve any problem that you as the player may have. Now, with all that in view, the next step is to jump into the actual site, make a deposit, and just start betting. So overall, I'm a fan of the platform. Now, they've already been in business for well over a year at the time this video was published, and they have been successful across numerous countries and serve many customers across the world. That being said, there's always room for improvement in any business or system. Now, the first thing that I noticed is the support side. I do love that they have a 24-hour support network for their users, but the support at this moment is only in Russian and English. Now, that's fine, as English is the most common language across the world, but gambling is a global activity, especially when you get into the more ubiquitous sports like soccer or fighting like the UFC or boxing. I think that if they really are able to add support in more languages, this may help grow the platform in a major way moving forward. Now the next step is actually educating customers on why blockchain is a better way to operate a business like this. For your average better who will place a bet on a horse on a Saturday afternoon, or perhaps a small bet during the third quarter of a football game on a Sunday, these people will already have platforms they are used to using and are not really looking to move. If these people know about the great functionality, lower fees, safer platform that BetMatch can boast over many of its competitors, then BetMatch could gain much more market share. That being said, to do so, they would need to make an effort not only to educate people and advertise about the BetMatch platform, but to also educate people on blockchain and cryptocurrency more generally. When it comes to the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, we see month after month and year after year big strides in growth and also the adoption across a multitude of different industries. Now, BetMatch really gets this and has used technology in a place that fits it like a glove, the world of betting. Now, betting is something that so many people across the world do across so many different activities. If you're one of those people who bets on eSports, which continues to grow all the time, or a person who places, say, a weekly bet on a sport you've been watching your entire life, or perhaps you're someone like me who loves a great bet on the Super Bowl and also the World Series, a platform like BetMatch provides the functionality and also the platform for all of us to engage in the betting world with ease so we can have some fun in a safe environment. So where to from now for BetMatch? Well, if they continue to spread the word about what it is they do, how their platform functions, and how blockchain is a great way to operate, they will probably continue to grow. But I guess only time will tell. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take it easy. Thank you.